Well, hello there, everybody. It's Slothy Newt. I am um, need to give special thanks to certain people, um, starting with Gamer Mom Over 50 for her technical assistance and knowledge of YouTube. She's passed on to me and her encouragement on the channel. Then there's Ducky, who is, I would call, a perfect subject for criticism. She evaluates and lets me know what viewers like and dislike about videos, and I trust her word immensely. Then there's Skippy Unicorn, who has given me such great encouragement and moral support in getting the channel started and working on it. And last but not least, my wife. Without her, it wouldn't be possible. She gives me so much encouragement, moral support, and understands that it takes long hours to do what you have to do to make a YouTube video now. And then I also want to give credit to where credit is due to Major Slack Videos for his complete understanding of Far Cry 5. His knowledge of the game is immense and his playstyle is very similar to mine and um, so I have used a lot of his knowledge and will be using a lot of his knowledge in my playthrough. Uh, of course, I'll be making my own changes and so on and so forth, but I wanted to give him his credit because he's one hell of a YouTuber and knows and researches his videos or his games before he even starts a walkthrough. So, with that said, we're going to get into um, Far Cry 5, my real life walkthrough, which means no game music from Ubisoft. I want to thank each and every one of you for returning and have a great time. Uh, but we're in Hope County, Montana, just to let you know where the game is being played at. So, we're going to do a new playthrough, it's a new game, normal difficulty, and like I said before, a female character. And I'm not going to use any save data, so we're going to override it. And here we go. Now, there won't be a lot of commentary through this. And I feel that the very first part of this game, and you'll see where I'll make a comment on it, is the roughest. And um, because there's certain things you can't do and I'll explain them as we go through it. But be prepared for a very little comment or commentary as this section goes through because at anywhere in this section you can fail the mission. Montana, big sky country, a treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. I never Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state, built right here, under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. 
People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. And some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Man, that's gotta hurt. Woo! Having your eyes poked out. Hey, rookie. Rookie. Wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the handbane now. How much longer? And just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Exactly. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10 4. White Horse to dispatch, over. Go ahead, huh? We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. You still planning to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the probie. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. You know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Roger that. Scary situations it's going in. You still there? Yes. Go ahead, Sheriff. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the talk. You got it? Got it. Rookie! All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! All right. Let's start off with this. All right. As you can see here, I'm walking as fast as I can. And don't keep up with them. So, and the person to the right is Hudson. The person to the left is the U.S. Marshal. I'm walking as fast as I can, and they're still walking away from me. So that's going to be the problem for at least the next five to seven minutes. They'll respect a nine millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. I don't like you being here, lady. Still trying to catch up with them. Oh, Marshal. Now we 
do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our bags. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. That marshal's crazy. He'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, Just come on. Hold on Marshall. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more like suffering. Oh, fuck. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that citizen. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. when the lamb opened the first seal and I heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts say come and see step forward and I saw and behold it was a white horse and the hell followed with him I guess I'm hell Cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. All right, from this point forward is where we can fail this mission at any time. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Now I have to keep up with them or keep from falling too far behind. If I far too beh far behind, we will fail or I will fail the mission. Get the fuck out of here. Marshal, take point. We're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Do your best to keep up with them. Because you cannot run. Back up. Back up. What are you doing? Everyone, keep back. Keep up with them as best you can. Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Alright. Made it.
A lot of things going on. Ooh. You see that one guy jump up into the blades? Oh my God. And we're going down. This is one busy game, so be prepared. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Well, now you know how they got the cops under their belt. And if you look, you can see the fuel draining down. God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. <coughs> We will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the refight! We Come gotta on. get out of here. Marshall, you gonna help? Marshall. Told you he was crazy. All right, we're free. Run to the right as soon as you can get down and around and stay close to the fence. That's gonna be your best bet and keep sprinting. Keep sprinting. It's the least traveled. They don't go down by the fence. So, we can still fail because uh, we're not out of this yet. So, all right. weapon right now we got will be the this and the tutorial God protected him just as he'll protect us as long as we trust in the father I'll do anything he asks for me we all will all right sneak up Wonder if there'll be time to hunt after and do a takedown. Focus here. All right, we got a pistol. Actually, a 1911 45. 
Now we've got to get out of here. Anything you collect here other than ammo will not be brought forward until we clear Dutchess Island. And that's ahead of us now. Alright. That was lousy, but we got out of it. Alright. over here there's a pile of ammo take it all oh come on all right mr. fumble fingers we're gonna reload from the checkpoint sorry I'm not cutting it out I'm gonna leave it in show you things happen all right Now you know where the checkpoint is, but you still got to be careful. Hello? Anyone hearing me? Hello? It's Burke. Hello? Keep running. I think I lost them. I see a, a trailer nearby. Next to a long bridge. I'm going to try and get inside. If anyone's still out there, listen. If anyone's still alive. All right, let's try this again. All right, you can check out the area, but there's nothing here. Going straight in. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Check the room, Rook. All right, now to let you know, you've got to keep the marshal alive or you fail the mission. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay, shh. All right. Like I said, you gotta keep him alive. Keep your eye on the marshal. The marshal's gonna go for a truck. Once he runs. Call the herd. I got the keys for the truck. Alright. Run over by him. Use a med kit. Don't have one. Loot if you can. Yes. Yes. Get in, Rook. Come on, Rook. 
Always go around the front and use the truck as a block. Get in. And do not, I repeat, do not lean out. Reload. Aim at him to take him out. Reload. Nice work back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We gotta get back, but we gotta be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. All right, let's get at it again. Go for the driver. Hold on. Got to get off the main road. Reload. Rook, there's a piece of dynamite in the back of the truck. Use it. Hurry, take him out. Reload. Right, right. Keep leaning in and out. No more med kits. You motherfucking tank. Hang tight. All right. Damn it. One last truck. All right. Got to get to the surface. Blacked out. All right, they have no idea where we're at, or at least where I'm at. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. 
But mostly it means we're all fucked. <sighs> Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming. And watching the first episode of Far Cry 5. It's really packed. Just to let you know. And on the next episode we will be doing the mission that Dutch gives us. He hasn't introduced himself yet. But we'll be selecting clothes. And starting the mission that he puts us on. Which is the tutorial. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody for being here again. And we'll see what starts off with the next episode. Thank you.